Hey guys, welcome back. So we're about to dive into another episode of The God of High School, and man, I'm digging this show so, so much. It's amazing. So we're about to dive into episode number five, Ron Town. So in this one, I'm anticipating a showdown between Han and Mori after what Han did to Mira in the last episode in the last few minutes. Han's friend Sung Tae was in hospital, and I thought he died, and that's what set Han on this self-destructive pattern in the tournament. So apparently he's taken a turn for the worse. He's got an incurable disease, and that's why Han's fighting, because he wants the money to help pay for his treatment. So no holds barred, he's just kicking everybody's ass, he's just being ruthless in his tournaments and poor Mira really copped it. So let's just dive into the episode because I'm just dying to see what happens next. So as you know, this is a Tama-based reaction, so grab your copy, watch along over on Crunchyroll. I also have exclusive and early release content over my Patreon. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, go. I hope Han gets it together, but you can totally understand where he's coming from two years ago. Oh, this is how they met. They're kicking the shit out of each other. Han and Sung Tae. That's how all best friends behave. Manny's face is a wreck. We got Han throwing up in the toilet. Ah, oh, this is after his fight with Mira. His sick friend. He's not coping very well. He feels sick. Oh, here we go, this song, man. I tried to find this on iTunes. It's not there yet. I want this soundtrack. It's so good. I just love the opening to this. This show is just chock-a-block full of amazing animation. The visuals are just incredible. And the soundtrack. Damn. I'm loving the characters. Loving the fight scenes. Oh, you can't help it, right? So Mori, right now, he's pissed as well. Because they're friends, they're a tight-knit group. Well, they're not a tight-knit group yet, right? They just met. But they're friends. So right now, Han is not seeing them as friends, but as adversaries. He's got a goal. And he really needs to be ruthless to achieve it. I'm glad Mira dodged that creepy dude trying to marry her in the last one. God, she's a school kid, dude. Back off. Ron's hound. So, Mori versus Jaihi. Bra Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Look at the animation style they use in the fighting, man. It's just incredible. It's got to be motion capture, right? It's stunning. Nice. Ho, ho, ho. I love how we kept getting these massive explosions when everybody hits the deck. And I wonder how many arenas they go through. Yep. Look at that look in his eyes. You're going down. Oh, Mira. Oh. She fucked up.
Oh, bonus. He went, he went too far though. See, she is thinking there's a reason why he did it. So she trusts the guy. Oh, here he is. That's horrible. See, it's not a justification, but you can understand where he's coming from with this. Everybody's just watching their phones. Woohoo! Off into the prelims. Mori versus Han. Oh, it's time. Man, who do you root for? Who do you root for? Tiger Cub. You want Mori to win because justice for what Han did to Mira, but at the same time, you can understand Han's motivation and you want him to win because he's got a dying friend. Oh, it's a conflict of emotions. I like it. Here we go. <laughs> just the sheer aesthetics of the fighting is just breathtaking. Not to mention the um the emotional connect you have with the characters as well. So you kind of feel every hit. That's really good writing. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Nice. There's not a lot of slow motion either. The, the the drawing is just so clear and concise. You can see exactly what's happening. All kind of being in like real time, so to speak. Evenly matched. Who? So I think Maury might have the advantage. I mean, he's kind of the star of the show, right? Oh. Oh, just a foot to the face. What's a foot to the face between friends, right? But right now they're not friends. Maury's pissed at him because of what he did. And Han just sees Maury as an obstacle. In the way. But he's a human being. being. You'd have to... You'd have to have some remorse, right? Han would. I mean, under that, he's a, he's a good guy. Well, obviously, he's a good guy. He's doing this for a very noble reason. So I'm, I'm hoping he feels remorse for hurting her. Oh shit, he's breaking out the big guns. Woo! Damn. Ah, oh, see? Oh shit. 
Oh no. Special moves. Black Tortoise. Look at Sumi, she can't see. It's Hans friend, he's getting nano machine treatment. Oh no. Oh no. He's gone. There was a note next to the photo. Oh, look at the animation. Black Tortoise. Oh, he's whooping Mori's ass, man. Vermilion Bird. Ah, oh, see? The tournament will be too long. Fuck, he's... Bloody hell. Last dance. How's Mori still getting up? How's your dragon? Oh, boom! I love how the the wind is just affecting the audience. So he had to at least win the prelims. And I'll pay for the treatment. That's why he's going so hard. Oh man. You're telling him now? Shit. Or he's still standing. And he just had the worst news of his life. God damn. Flashback. New guy. Hey, nice to meet you too. So he's the leader of our little gang. And they're all down. Last man standing. Hello? Yeah, a new guy. The start of their friendship. Fiercely loyal, all right.
Oh man, this is getting me in the feels. Do do do. So the fight is still going on. Has Han even got anything left to give? Does he even care anymore? Oh, the music. Oh, my God. Oh, getting goose pimples. He's not even blocking. Oh, man. So, end of the day, he's still testing him. Oh, shit, man. The music is going from somber and broken and now it's steadily getting more hopeful and inspiring. It's, it's beautifully done. Oh, he's coming to a realization here. He's not alone. Is he smiling? He's smiling. <laughs> he just kicked her ass and now she's here motivating him to fight. <laughs> to truly fight. She's supporting him. It's the note that was near the photo. Ha! Oh, my heart is breaking right now, man. Far out. Yes, he's found himself. Oh, no. Man. <laughs> wow. Fight for you. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, this is so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's... Maureen's having so much fun right now so is Han triple kick black tortoise stage 3 clash of the titans Oh my god, I really love what they're doing with the animation here.
Is he losing? <clears throat> no, he's coming back. Oh, shit. Blue dragon kick. Oh. Uh, victory. Two tiger cubs. He's still standing. Barely. What happened to the stage? <laughs> Murray wins. Yay. Oh, hun. I'm okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm okay. Just a little, little bit of moisture. That's it. It's cold in here. No, you won't. <laughs> you wild monkey. Oh, look at his face. Oh, my God. Oh, mystery figure. Boring. Uh oh. Oh, my God. Oh my god, this, this is so good. It um it hit me in the heart though. The story of friendship. Han lost a dear friend. His whole motivation for fighting to, to get that treatment so that he could help him and he dies. <laughs> Man. But I love how his walls kind of came down at that moment and he realizes that for a guy who seems to have been a loner for most of his life, has found some friends. Even though he's like beating the shit out of them, but they're giving back. That was a really nice moment. Oh my god, though. I'm such a sucker to this stuff. I'm so sentimental. I mean, I mean, the music just really, really made the animation all the more better. Like, it really kind of, um, enhance the storytelling and that's what good music does i really felt the score in this one it was it was amazing it really told the story just as much as the narrative and the fight scenes of course were kicking ass it was so good so maury won so he's got the the raw talent he was talking about oh sad but happy Oh, it's a mix. Ah, <laughs> see, told you, sentimental, that was just, oh man, thanks for that, guys, just, let's just get him on the way out, just make him <laughs> close to breaking down, oh, oh my god, this show's amazing, it really is quite, quite very good, I'm enjoying the hell out of it, and I'm just loving that we're getting such great character building in this show, like the arcs of all of them so far are very interesting to me. So all three are on different paths. They're there for their own motivations and their own reasons to fight. 
and Han had the most emotional story of all, like a dying friend. So now that that's wrapped up, it's going to be interesting to me to see where it goes because that was the highlight of the show so far. I mean, the fights, yeah, they're incredible, but having that emotional weight behind them, that's what makes them special. So now that that's done, what happens now? I mean, his motivation is gone, for what of a better word, although now he's got friends and, you know, who doesn't want to win a tournament? So I'm sure he's still going to fight to the, his best ability and, and definitely to respect his friend's honor as well. But we've got these guys behind the scenes watching them as well. And that, and that mysterious figure showed up at the end there. So I think definitely he's going to be a threat in some way. But damn, far out, man. That's pretty rare for a show to make me do this. Like to, ooh, you know. <laughs> I'm just so invested in it. It's just so bloody well done. Anyway, one a week. So I'll get the other one up to you guys next week. Catch you then. Thanks for watching.